Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNote.com and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to use our elapsed time clock application. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have free math games and puzzle games as well as teaching tools. It's, it's, it's all, they're all free to play and use. There's never any membership or sign up required. This uh, elapsed time clock uh, application is free to play also. It's a remake of our own old uh, original flash version but this version is new in HTML5 and it plays so that means it plays on PCs as well as mobile devices such as tablets and phones. Um, now this is the basic version which doesn't have AM and PM in it whereas we have the uh, next version that we have the little more advanced does have AM and PM in it so um, when I go over this Keep in mind we do have an AM and, P ver AM and PM version, but this one doesn't. Now, when you first start the game, you're going to see this menu here, and you have these buttons here, and basically the first three buttons are the uh, modes you can, the elapsed time clock modes you can uh, go into, and the first one is, sh is called Show Mode, and if you click this button, it'll take you to Show Mode, and that's basically a demo mode where you can adjust the start time and end time on the analog clocks and you'll see the lapse time uh, change accordingly. The quiz mode allows you to uh, set the uh, either the uh, you can quiz on the start time, the elapsed time, or end time and we'll, we'll, I'll show you how that works in a minute. The random mode is where a random uh, start time and end time is generated by the computer and then the the students or the person using this application is goal is to calculate the uh, uh, correct elapsed time. The video button will take you to the page on MathNook that has this video and instructions. I'll go ahead and I'm not going to go over the instructions, but I'll show you how how they work in case you do want to uh, review the instructions. This is the first page of the instructions. There's three of them, and at the bottom it has instructions here. And at the bottom it says click right arrow to continue. Same thing on the second page, third page, you don't have that, but you can still uh, go to the right and that basically wraps around and you can go use this left arrow to get back. And this button is the back button and it will take you to the main menu and we'll go ahead and I'll give you a, a, a demo on how the show mode works. Now this would be good for uh, demoing how uh, and showing how elapsed time works. and what you have on this screen as well as the other modes you have the start time clock here the green one analog clock which you you can adjust and then it shows you the digital time below that uh, you know represented uh, th that has the time on the analog clock but it's written in digital same thing over here on the end time and the elapsed time and right now it's showing three o'clock as a start time and end time is three o'clock so the elapsed time is zero and if you notice as I move it around, you can see that the time, the last time changes accordingly. And I can grab the hour hand and I can grab the minute hand. Now, I do want to sh show you how this works. And in the video, I'm actually grabbing this, the actual hand, which is fine on a PC. It's fairly easily easy to do. When you get into a mobile device, especially phones, it can be very difficult to sometimes grab or touch the uh, the hand you're looking you're trying to get and so what I did is when I wrote this I made it where you can actually take your finger and, and press down and swipe it across here and it will grab the hand that it swipes across and, and the same thing on the PC and I'll show you this uh, instead of holding, holding your finger down and swipe it across here I'm going to hold the left mouse button down keep holding it down and as I move across here I grab it and as you can see, I move the moves all around. Same thing with the hour hand. Again, this is, uh, makes it a lot easier on uh, smaller devices that have uh, smaller displays. So that's how this works. It just basically shows you the elapsed time based on the times that you set. Now let's go ahead and look at quiz mode. Now this is uh, where you can quiz on the start time by cl clicking this button elapsed time and end time and then you can check your answer so if I wanted to 
let's go ahead and say I wanted to just to do the regular lapse time. I wanted to quiz on the lapse time. I could change any of these clocks over. I'll put that on five, and let's go ahead and put this on two. So basically, this is because I have this checked and I'm testing on lapse time. It's saying if you have the start time of two o'clock and end time, what would be the lapse time? I could say three hours and it tells me that that is correct and it'll tell me to set a new time. Once I set a new time, and I could really use the old one, but it's just telling you that you need to, you're done with that problem. We go ahead and put six and let's go ahead and check that up. Oh, that was wrong. I, I would need to change this to four. Let's go ahead and put five hours on there. And three times, you get three times and after three times it tells you what the actual a life's time which are being tested on should have been and it tells you to set a new time. Now if I wanted to do a start time I could adjust the uh, put whatever time I want here say 7 o'clock for the end time and uh, let's go ahead now last time of four hours of course you could change the minutes too but just to make it a little bit simpler. Um, so the question is if with the end time of 7 o'clock last time of four hours and no minutes what should the start time be? Well, that would be 3 o'clock. And let's go ahead, well, grab the wrong hand there. Let's go ahead and put it on 3 o'clock. And that's correct. And now, let's go ahead and change that to 8 o'clock, 4 hours, and that would be wrong. And it tells us that, the rec that testing on the start time with, these, with this end time and last time, that the actual start time should have been 4. And the testing on the end time works the same way. With a start time of 3 o'clock, a lapse time of 4 hours, then the end time that I should have set should have been 7. We can go ahead and do that. And you'll see that it was correct. And I get it tells me to set a new end time. Okay, let's go ahead and look at random mode. And this works very similar to the other ones uh, as far as you just get a random time and you try to figure out what the lapse time is. But what a little bit different here, you can change the increments to 1 minute, 5, 10, 15, 30, or increments of 1 hour. Let's go ahead and put it on 30 minute increments. And that means that, we go back, that when you put it on 30 minute increments, it means that the random times selected for the start and end time will be on the hour or on the half hour, as you can see. So, basically, when you get in the first time, it's going to tell you set an elapsed time which we're talking about this, and click the check button. So if the start time is 5 and the end time is 11, the last time should be 6 hours. And that's correct and it says I can look at it and then when I'm ready to get a new problem I just say click new random time. Now the start time is 9, end time is 11, and that's 2 hours last time, but let's go ahead and put 3. And it tells me the last time is actually two hours when you have the start time at 9.11. And so you can see there that the end time got the half hour random time. And if you wanted to go, say, to five minutes, then you can see it's one is on the five minute increments there. Well, that's how our application works. Let me go ahead and show you how to get back. And uh, I, I hope that uh, you enjoy using this, and I hope it helps some, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And, of course, thanks for watching.